Hello, good morning. This is me at my real job. Once a week, I come out to one of the barrier islands in the Mississippi Sound in the Northern Gulf of Mexico. And I'm basically taking a look at this uh, eight mile island and primarily looking at how it's recovered since the uh, oil spill. Many of you probably realized uh, several years ago there was an absolutely horrific oil spill out in the Gulf of Mexico. This entire island was um, covered in oil. So at this point, looking at how things are recovering, uh, hopefully, luckily um, there's been some funding for that type of stuff and one of the reasons why I came back here to Mississippi. So my primary uh, job, my primary focus is marine mammals, so the dolphins uh, that live around this island. But I'm also surveying the beaches for stranded sea turtles. I'm looking at horseshoe crab populations. I'm looking at monarch butterflies. We're doing some plant surveys. So I'm, I'm sort of using this whole island as my laboratory, which is pretty awesome. Um, the baby beavers are in good hands with my family and uh, I'm going to start walking. If I see anything cool, I'll be sure to share. This island is a very important spot for birds, migratory birds coming through as well as uh, animals that come here to breed. So right here flying through the air is a bald eagle. They do nest out here and a reddish egret right in front of me. Numerous species of terns and sanderlings. It's a very, very special place. One of the great things about this island is how close to shore the dolphins come. So I can do most of my research from the beach. This island is called Cat Island and it got its name because French explorers back in the 1600s camped out here and they saw raccoons. They had no idea what a raccoon was and they saw them eating oysters. So it became known as the Island of the Oyster Cats and um, <laughs> which is really funny but now of course it's just called Cat Island. It's a beautiful island. It's about eight miles offshore. Here's some really cool birds. There are still a nice population of raccoons that live out here. Here's some little raccoon paw prints. They uh, prefer this marshy area. There is fresh water here and um, they seem to prefer to eat mussels. So here's one of the mussel shells. I would like to dive a little bit deeper into the raccoons here because I suspect because they've been out here isolated for so long that they could be a subspecies of raccoon. They're a reddish, blondish color. So clearly, um, from a color standpoint, they look a little different. That 
that's on my to-do list. These are hermit crab tracks. It's a nice healthy population of hermit crabs out here. Hey buddy, what you doing? This is a hardhead catfish. It is a species of saltwater catfish. And they're actually really beautiful. This one has succumbed to something. But right here, it's a crazy, crazy sharp fin. They also have very sharp fins here. And dolphins in Florida have been found dead with catfish spines piercing through their esophagus, causing choking. But here in Mississippi, the dolphins culturally, they've been living here and hunting for so long that they have learned how to eat hardhead catfish because there's a plentiful prey species, although deadly. And what they do is they grasp the head and chop off the vertebra about right here and then they can eat all of this part, which is good, and they leave just the head behind. And dolphins in Mississippi, Alabama, Louisiana are some of the only ones that know how to do this. This is one of my favorite flowers out here in the dunes. It's called square flower. It's a very important source of nectar and pollen small pollinators out here. Today ended up being a pretty decent day for collecting some dolphin data. No stranded sea turtles, which is great. And uh, the horseshoe crabs I had already surveyed before. So no new horseshoe crabs. Still trying to figure out exactly what the horseshoe crabs uh, life cycle is like out here as far as breeding and things like that. So that's to be continued. But thanks for uh, joining me today. We saw a few cool things. And uh, if you like this, let me know. I can uh, do some more filming. Thanks again.